how to make car magnets step by step. What's up guys, welcome back to our channel. This is the project that we got going on today. Here's our design and I'm getting it ready. I'm about to send it to my vinyl cutter. We, uh, we have CorelDRAW for our software and the one you see right here is CM3. This is the software that comes with the machine with the uh, vinyl cutter. I'm checking all my settings just to make sure that the vinyl cuts right. And here's our Graphtec CE6060. And the vinyl that we use is Oracle 651 Outdoor. All right, let's weed out the vinyl. This vinyl is really good. It lasts about five to seven years. And it's for outdoor use. Okay, and the tape that we use for our uh, vinyls, we have two kinds. We have the AT60, which is supposed to be a low tack. And, but this is our favorite. This one, you can use it with almost any kind of vinyl, as long as it's outdoor vinyl or uh, 751 vinyl. I don't think you can use it for 631, which is for the wall decals, but uh, this one is a little bit uh, hard to see through it. Like when you layer vinyls, it's kind of hard to see and we're going to apply the tape on top of the vinyl to transfer our images to our magnets and this is how we do it we're using squeegee and like i said at the end of the video i'm going to show you where to get all the materials i'll give you more details and we have all the tools for our to cut our magnets the magnet that we have comes in a huge roll and we just cut it accordingly to what we need it and that's what we're doing right now okay now that we have all the vinyls ready now it's time to put them on the magnet and make sure they're straight taking all the measurements and we're going to do the dry application method we won't use any water you can find the cutting mat and all the tools that you saw in just a few minutes we'll get into that i'll tell you where to get them all You're gonna get a few bubbles. Usually this happens when you do dry application. You end up with more bubbles, but you can always get rid of them or uh, they will come off. You don't have to worry about them. You can just make a little hole. Okay, so we were planning on doing dry, dry application for both of them, but like just to show you the difference, the first one we did was dry application, and for this one, we're gonna do the wet application. So to show you the difference, dry application, especially when you have solid figures like this right here, we got the whole square. It's more recommended to use water if the weather allows you. If it's hot outside, then yeah, I would use water. Okay, so here's the difference. This one right here, we use the wet application. We use the water. And I don't know if you can see here in the camera, you can barely see bubbles. It only has like probably one or two. And the one I have right here, this one, we did a dry application. And there's one right here. There's another one. There's like four of them right there. And one more right here. We're gonna get rid of them. We know how to get rid of them and shouldn't be a big deal. But I just wanted to show you the difference between dry application and wet application. Okay, now we're going to round the corners. I wish I knew that this machine was kind of small. We could have got a, a bigger one, but uh, it works. But I'll show you the corners, how they end up. But like I said, I wish they were bigger. You can get that machine at, uh, from Amazon. That's where I got it. Okay, now let's go get you some materials. The first product I'll show you are the vinyls. And again, we use the 651 outdoor. It's supposed to last up to five years, five or seven years. We use this mainly for flat surfaces and outdoors. 
usually on glass, metal. I've, I've only used it a couple times on wall, but I noticed that the adhesive is more aggressive, so I wouldn't use it on walls. This is the type that I get. I get huge rolls. It runs around $90, and you can also see here the cutting mat, the ruler. They even have books where they show you all kinds of vinyls. Just look around and see, they got a lot of tools that you can get. And now let's go check out the magnet. Again, they have different kinds of magnets. They got sheets, which I used to get at first. And then I started selling a lot of them. We decided to start getting the rolls, the ones you see right here. And I get the gloss finish and the 30 millimeters. It says 141.99. But after you add the 30 millimeters, it goes up to 170, I believe. I guess it depends on the thickness. And you can also see yard signs. They sell all kinds of stuff. And now let's go get the tape. Again, the tape that you saw us using here was not this one, but it was this one here, the A75, which is the best one to get because uh, you won't have to struggle the vinyl sometimes doesn't want to come off it wants to stay on the paper and we don't have that problem with this type of um, tape and you can see they're out of they're out of stock as always thank you guys for watching we appreciate your support and if you like these videos make sure you give us a like subscribe and leave us a comment if you have any questions and uh, we'll see you guys until the next video bye